Our good friend Eric from over at Dr. Eric's Hot Rods and Restorations is having some problems with some paint stripper. Hey guys, welcome back. Quick video today. Just want to give you an update on uh, stripping the paint off the Falcon. As you can see, uh, it didn't really work very well at all. And this orange stuff, um, almost nothing. Let me get a scraper here. It really, I mean, it didn't really do the job that I expected. Yes, it's starting to work in places, but I don't know. If we're sitting for a couple days on the car. So we're going to take a minute. We're going to teach on you a little bit and show you how to properly use aircraft paint stripper. Coming up. number one mistake people make when they're using this, and it's not their fault, it's not your fault if you're having this problem happen to you. There's a proper way how to use paint stripper. I'm going to demonstrate on our test panel here. It's got lots of coats of paint on it, so it's time to strip it off anyways. So starting out when you're using paint stripper, do a small area. Start off one foot square area at a time. This way here you get used to the product and you get to know how it works. Then you can do bigger areas as, as you get comfortable with them. Another thing you want to keep handy is a bucket of water. Water will neutralize the chemical reaction instantly, so it'll keep you from getting skin burns, irritations, rashes. If you're stripping something and you're having a reaction that you don't like, putting some water on it will stop that reaction immediately. So we're going to do a one, foot, one square foot area. Approximately. So this isn't where your problem's at. The problem comes in when you're putting that on with a brush. And you go you can only go in one direction. So when you're putting it on with a brush, you just want to go in one direction like this. Like I say, that kills the reaction. Going back, going across and going back over, you won't have the desired effect. See right there where it's all bubbling up? The reaction has stopped where I put, run the brush over it. Same here, you can see where it's all bubbling up. And the reaction has stopped where I run the brush over it. We'll leave, we'll leave this go for about 20 minutes and we'll show you what it looks like. So we have the camera footage here sped up by 10 times, so the next 20 minutes will happen in about a minute and a half. If you like this kind of thing, keep watching, if not you can skip ahead a few seconds. So you can see here and see here where the paint stripper was reapplied with the paintbrush, meaning you went back over it. We had very little reaction. Where the stripper only had one coat, in this area, very light, 
like it's not even fully covered. Right down to the base coat. Right down uh, nearly past the base coat to be honest with you. But you can just to demonstrate reapplying with the brush this is the problem you're having with your uh, paint stripper. Before you put your second coat on, take some water, neutralize what you have here. Before you start your next coat, wash it off, dry it off. And start again. So the keys to success are starting small, work a square foot at a time, clean it up. Air stripper is the most, is the least intrusive way to remove paint from a vehicle you won't distort or damage any of your panels so and depending on how many coats you might, might have to go extra layers but and now a lot more starts i've been trying to shoot this outro all day but i digress so the most important thing to know when you're putting this stuff on is do not reapply it don't do not reapply it put it on with a roller go in one direction Put it on with a brush, go one direction. Put it on with a spray bomb. Make sure you cover it, you'll be good to go. Start out with one square foot at a time until you get comfortable enough to do a bigger area and you'll be set to jet. Aircraft stripper. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. If this video helped you out some, you can hit that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. Leave us a like. And we'll see you on the next video. Till the next time, folks. This guy out. Soon as I'm done, the lawnmower shuts off. Ugh. And yes, I cleaned up my mess. The environment wasn't harmed from the making of this video.